let's build the nervous system and, and see it in action for a moment. So I wonder, could two people volunteer to come up and be our ventral vagal system? There's one. I need, need another. Who will come be ventral vagal? Come on, need one more. Oh, here comes one from the back. There she comes. <gasps> ventral vagal. You, you're, it's a big responsibility. You're going to be ventral for the whole room. <laughs> All right. So you two can introduce each other to yourselves. And there, because you're ventral together. There you go. Okay. So this is our ventral vagal system. And why we do two is because we always long to be in connection, either inside or with another. So I'm going to put two people here to be ventral. Could somebody volunteer to come up and be our sympathetic system? Come on, sympathetic. Oh, good. Come on up. There we go. All right. Sympathetic's going to stand right in front. Okay. And, yep, there you go. And looking out into the world here, this is sympathetic. Uh-huh. Ah, okay. You're going to be fine. <laughs> yes. And now, could somebody volunteer to come up and be our dorsal? Oh, good. Come be dorsal. Beautiful. So you're going to stand right in front of sympathetic. Perfect. See, now you're not in front. There you go. All right. So here is our system in balance. And with ventral vagal overseeing the system, sympathetic pumps our blood, oxygenates our blood, gives us the energy to stand to be here doing this because the vagal brake's working, and dorsal is running our digestion. Okay, so this is a system in healthy homeostasis. All right, but this doesn't happen all the time, right? So, could somebody volunteer to come up and be an irritant? <laughs> I know. So you wished you'd waited, didn't you? <laughs> all right, come be an irritant. He's good, at that. He's good at that. I love it. All right. So here comes the irritant. So in the beginning, let's just be a gentle irritation back here. You you irritate ventral and it. Yep, there you go. Irritate ventral. And ventral <laughs> is going to try to manage the irritation through connection and communication. <laughs> that is not ventral. <laughs> that is not ventral. <laughs> she already went to sympathetic. <laughs> Breathe in the ventral. <laughs> you can use your, your other ventral here. You can... So communication and connection to try and manage this simple irritation. So how are you going to man? Oh yeah, they're turning towards you now, and they're and they're going ah oh, there. Oh, <laughs> so the irritation says, okay, maybe I'm out of here. So you come over here for a moment. System goes back into regulation. Okay, that was a little hard to do, wasn't it? Just to stay ventral and to come. So wait till he comes back again. Just warning you. <laughs> So the system learned, okay, I can regulate. It took a little while, but I can regulate through, through eye gaze, through, through a welcome. So irritation comes back because it's the way of life, right? Irritation comes back. Irritates again. Oh, yeah, there you go. Irritates again. And ventral's going to try and negotiate using connection, communication. So the irritation is too much for our ventral vagal system, and our ventral vagal system goes offline. Okay? So this is at now. Sympathetic's running the show. Ah, look at this. Oh, boy. Oh, there you go. Look at that. <laughs> That's beautiful. Oh. Sympathetic says, I'm going to take care of this. This is beautiful. Yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, how perfect is that? Irritation goes away because can't no match for this sympathetic system, I tell you. <laughs> sympathetic regulates the system and then ventral comes back in, vagal break re-engages, ventral comes back in, system goes back into regulation. Oh yes, that was a nice breath here that just happened, okay? But this is daily living and this is our clients' lives or our lives where the irritation just keeps coming and coming and coming. Resilience is low, irritation comes back. Ooh, taking a different tack. Yep, ventral, ventral says, I'm done, really quickly. They're away. Sympathetic says, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. Can't manage. Goes away, goes offline. We're now here. Okay, this is running the show. 
dorsal is running the show, right? So we're going to stop just a minute, stay there. What does it feel like to you, sympathetic, to have dorsal running the show? Exhausting. Exhausting. And what's it feel like you, for you two to know that dorsal is now running the show? Disconnected. Quiet, Quiet disconnected. Yeah, yep, you're a long way away, aren't you? So here, the irritant is here, and there's, this is, there's nothing going on here, right? Because you can even see it. Can you feel it? Can you feel this? There's nothing going on here. This is beautiful. Thank you. And so the irritant, because irritants usually need something to, to bang up against, right? There's nothing here. So the irritant says, I'm out of here because there's nothing here to play with. Don't go too far, <laughs> right? So now we have a system that is here. Can you feel it? There's nothing going on here. This is a system in hopeless despair, deadness, right? Dorsal deadness, right? And it's hard to come back to life here. So now I need somebody who would agree to come and accompany the system back to ventral. Who might that be? <gasps> come on. The therapist. Yeah, so we're getting one right here. Thank God. You were quick to volunteer. Yes, you can feel the pain the system's in, right? All right. So we start here with, with simple, with, when someone's in dorsal, we simply show up. We simply show up and we're just with, right? We're just with. And you can see she's offering a lot of cues of safety through her face, her presence. She's not asking for anything. Because in dorsal, an ask for something feels like a demand and it's too much. We just show up. Yeah. Sending cues. And then there was this moment, there's a look. Can you see a beginning to come back to life? Right? This system said, oh, there's another system here that I might be able to connect with. So then there's some connection. Right? Yeah, there's some connection. So now what are you going to do? So stay here first. Don't leave her. Don't leave her. Okay. So we stay with dorsal. And then, now that we have some connection, we want to keep that connection. Okay. Stay right in that connection. Okay. So I'm here. Yeah. Yeah. I want to engage some. We're going to get there. Okay. But we got to make sure we're really. And that, and that, and that, this is a therapist thing. I love that you just did that. This is a therapist thing. We want to get out of here so fast. <laughs> right? We just do. We don't want our client here. We want to move them right along. Yeah. And what I'm encouraging is let's just stay here. Just stay here. Just stay here. Let her system know you're not alone. I'm right here with you. Right? So I'm bringing my ventral and I'm just here with you. Right? And we can say, I'll often tell my clients, we can stay here as long as you want. So what, and what happens when I say that? They begin to move. Right? Because the invitation is we can stay here as long as you want. I'm not going anywhere. I'm right here with you. And then the system goes, oh, maybe I can trust that. Right? And so maybe we begin to get a little energy. Right? Are you feeling a little bit of energy? What are you feeling? So, just the awareness of her breathing. Wait a minute, I think we need the microphone. Hold that thought. <laughs> I forget that we're all now going to be famous for being a nervous oh. system. <laughs> uh huh, oh well, yeah, too late now. <laughs> Just the awareness of her breath and seeing her breathing reminded me to breathe. Love it. Love it. Yes. Because I was not even thinking about my breath here, mm -hmm. and that just mm -hmm. made me do that. <sighs> Lovely. And I noticed the, the eye contact has been important. Right. The softness of her yes. face and yes. the eye contact and yes. just the presence that she came with Beautiful. made me feel not alone. Right. Yeah, beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful. So does it feel like you are you have a little energy and we might turn towards sympathetic now? Yes. Okay, so now we turn together towards sympathetic and see as sympathetic begins to bring a little, oh, <laughs> yeah, what's going on? I'm feeling a little doubtful. I'm not sure I trust this. Ah. I, you know, that mm -hmm. was a big collapse. I don't know. Right, right. Okay, that's great. So that was a big collapse. I'm not sure what's going to happen now. Right. Right. So is it the worry that you'll activate and then go back to collapse, or what's the worry? Um, it's it's that being being 
in having to be present and the the part in charge mm -hmm. is scary and difficult mm -hmm. and the yes. collapse yep. was exhausting and I don't mm -hmm. know if I trust that I'll have the energy ah, or that beautiful. the rest of the system will come ah, online to lovely. help. Lovely. So it's a good thing you have a wise therapist. Oh, that makes so much sense to me. <laughs> of course, that was really scary. The whole system collapsed and you're not it was a lot of work too. Like you really had to kind of go into full activation and that's really tiring. So we're going to find a way to not have to do that full activation uh -huh. and, but use some of your energy. Mm. How's that feel? That feels that's much better. better. Mm -hmm. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. That feels much better. Yeah. And you started moving already. Yeah, yeah. start right. moving. So maybe, yeah. maybe we can all. A little bit of. Bit there we go. Movement. I love it. Yeah. 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 So this is using movement in a in a in a controlled way because we want movement. Movement's great, but we don't want it to become this again. It needs to. This is lovely. So whatever you need to do here. Yeah. You feeling good? Yeah. A little bit of in breath. And can you feel your therapist here with you? Yes. Yes. Because that's the, that's the job, to accompany the system, right? To not say, oh, thank God my client has come out of despair and go away. To stay here. Because what happens here when a system comes out of dorsal and begins to mobilize? This is the risky place, right? This is the, the messy place. This is where relapse happens. This is where those behaviors come back to life if we're not able to um, con maintain, control them, manage them. Right? So therapist, it's important to stay with. In dorsal, we come and be with just here. As we move through sympathetic, I'm still here. I'm doing this with you in sympathetic. And so... Oh, so... Uh, so we're so moving. I'm saying, we're moving. oh, let's try mm -hmm. this. And we'll do this together. Mm -hmm. And how does that feel? And what's that? Part of, part of what I'm... Part of so part of what I'm feeling is your willingness to stay here in the muck yes. with me yes. and not say, oh, well, you're better now. Exactly. Beautiful. Yes. Oh, that's yes. great. This is yes. helpful. Because we're, we're, what we're doing is we're learning to regulate. And we have one more step we have to come to bring the system back. So we're all going to come. And we're going to bring this sympathetic energy that is... Um, controlled that is being used and the vagal break is going to re-engage and bring us back here okay so then we come back and so now you're working here everybody's breathing it's nice everybody's breathing what was that like for you Are you feeling what was that like lost for a while we were, we were lost for a while yeah yeah it's welcome, welcome back. Yeah. Right, and, and that was beautiful. Welcome back. And then I'd probably add, and can you sense my system reaching out to yours? Oh, that's good. Right? The connection. Because we want that connection. Yeah. And it's nervous system to nervous system. Not can you feel me here with you, which is okay to say, but I like, can you feel my system reaching out to yours? Right? Because it's talking to the nervous system. And can you? Can you, can you feel mm -hmm. this system? Sending ventral to yours, holding, yeah, it yes. Feels very containing. Very contain. It feels very containing and mm -hmm. safe. Safe. See, that's the yeah. word. When we come back yeah. to it, feels safe. We know we're there. Yeah. yeah, sure. In a lot of the work I do, I talk about holding space mm -hmm. for growth mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. change, and mm -hmm. and it just occurred to me that mm -hmm. that's really what this is. This, this is bringing in, ventral vagal alive, alive because that's when things can happen. Right. Exactly. Thank exactly. you. Exactly. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes. And, and the temperature feels warm. Ah, <laughs> lovely. It, it really does feel, my yes. body feels warmer I love in it. this uh, uh, balance. Yes. So we've got a system back in homeostasis. We have a therapist that this system is beginning to trust because the therapist just guided the system all the way back from collapse to ventral. And depending on the client, you may have to do this a bunch of times before the system really comes into a trust to be able to do the work, 
right? Because it's really this sense of we've done it once and we've built this, this autonomic pathway, this autonomic story has begun to change. We need to um, resource that new story. But for the moment, uh, we're going to imagine that the system is having some trust of the therapist and we're going to invite the irritant to come. Because the irritant is probably a focus of therapy, right? We haven't, if we can't maintain regulation with this irritation is around, this is a problem, right? So we invite the irritant back in, both because we don't want to just leave him out there because we want him here, and because, and, we, and because we now have the capacity to turn towards the irritation and engage with and, and resolve or do something with. Now we do because the nervous system knows when it dysregulates it can come back. We're working on staying here and we can be with the irritation. Yeah. Okay? okay? So we're just going to invite the irritation in for a moment so that he doesn't feel left out there. <laughs> I know. It's always hard to be the irritant. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. And he felt so useless. Aww. <laughs> He said he felt so useless. The irritant, well, the irritant was the dysregulating agent. That, the, the irritant dysregulated the system. And now we've learned how to regulate the system so that we can engage with whatever this is and resolve it. Right? That's really what we're doing. So thank you all for being our nervous system. They were wonderful, yes? Thank you. Thank you.